Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 25th, so right around the 25th. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, so this reading may or may not be for you, okay? So what do we have for a message today? Well, take a look at that, the Empress. So the Empress is birth of a new life, right? She nurtures everything. This is a mother. This is the goddess of love, right? So it's all about love. It's all about abundance, okay? She mothers everything. She can grow anything, right? So the Empress looks like she's going to be nurturing something, taking care of something, loving, very, very loving energy. A message is coming. I see all these birds. It's definitely a very fertile time. A very sensual energy. Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups, somebody may be looking for love. Somebody, And if they're looking for love, they're looking in the right place because the Empress is the goddess of love. She does everything with love. She's the, she's love. She's unconditional love. Um, but anyhow, the Knight of Cups is somebody that's looking for love, looking for a, a relationship. There's somebody maybe making an approach, right? This is, could be the arrival of a lover or a proposal or an offer or an invite. You know, this could be somebody that is acting on their feelings or declaring their feelings, expressing their feelings. Um, could be an arrival of some sort with that Knight of Cups. Empress could be Taurus, Libra, doesn't have to be. Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it's acting on feelings. She's loving. She's loving. She's giving some tender, loving care right there. She is. Moon. All is not as it seems, okay? There's something that is hidden. There's, there's something, you know, this is a beware, beware. All is not as it seems. There's an unclear path ahead. There could be hidden feelings because it's right next to that Knight of Cups. Now, the moon is something that is hidden. The Empress does everything with love. This is a new baby, right? It's the birth of something new. So she's giving birth. So this is a blessing, okay? She gives, she deals with pain. She receives a blessing. Maybe there's a new relationship here. Maybe there is. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to give birth to a new relationship. Maybe it's time, because that's the Empress gives birth when it's time. It's time, it's time for a delivery. It's time for you to receive your blessing. It's time, it's time, right? Whew. 10 of coins, 10 of coins about abundance, right? Extreme abundance, this is permanent, something permanent, long-term. This could be starting a family. Somebody may be starting a family or they're starting a relationship that leads to something long-term. This is abundance. This is money in the bank, stable, long-term uh, abundance, financial security. So somebody is starting something. They're starting something that leads to long-term abundance, you know, where they're, they can save, they can hold on to it. This is something you can bank on, right? Ooh. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. This is definitely a solid, real investment. This is a new opportunity. This is what you asked for. This is manifestation. This is something you can touch. So somebody, this is a blessing. Somebody is receiving a blessing. This is a gift. It's a gift of prosperity. It's a gift of permanence. And it does have love because the Empress is all about love, okay? She's love. She's the goddess of love. So the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity that you can put in the bank, that you can bank on, okay? You can put that right in your bank, you can keep it, you can hold on to it, it's something real, it's something solid. This is a gift, This is, or it's a, it's a new investment. It's something that can bring you prosperity and abundance, but there's some sort of illusion here with that moon card. So somebody, is there something that isn't as it seems? What is that moon card? What is the moon card? 
you know, when you get the moon, something is not as it seems. There's, there's a need, there could be some lies with the moon, right? I'm not sure. What is this moon card? Could just be fear. Ooh, king of coins reversed. So we may have somebody here that is only interested in money. They're only interested in what they can get. I mean, the king of coins in reverse could be somebody that does things illegal. They're only looking out for themselves. Not really interested in a relationship, but does want tender love and care. Wants somebody to take care of them, but doesn't want to doesn't want to give it in return. I mean, the king of pentacles is in reverse is somebody that may be very, very focused on their money. They're focused on their abundance, but they, they really don't have a lot to give in return, right? This is somebody that maybe has made some poor financial decisions. Maybe they're unstable, maybe they're insecure, maybe this person, uh, there could be fear, there could be fear. Fear of, typically the king of pentacles in reverse is somebody that is more interested in money than they are, in their business, in their you know, career than they are any type of relationship. Could be even fear of commitment. Maybe this person is lazy. What is this king of coins in reverse? Two of wands reverse. So the two of wands reverse is indecisive, um, held back, fear of the unknown. Very fearful. We do have somebody here that is fearful. They're fearful of the unknown. They're fearful. It, it, to go down that path, okay? They don't, they're scared to go down that path. Insecure, this person has insecurities. About love, about relationships. But there's an opportunity for long-term abundance. I mean, the Emper Empress, she grows things. She grows things abundantly. She nurtures things to their fullest ex extent. She suffers, right? She does. She suffers to get the blessing because she knows she's going to get a blessing. She'll wait for that blessing. She will. Anyhow, 10 of coins, that is long-term stability, a relationship. There's a relationship here. There's, there's love, okay? There's love here that can lead to long-term term stability. Hmm. We definitely got somebody here that's looking for some tender love and care. They want to be loved. They want to be loved. They want to be taken care of, but there's fear. Ace of Swords. Now the Ace of Swords is communication. It's taking a new approach. It's a new idea. Being honest and upfront. Somebody may be getting a wake up call. It may, it's hidden. There's some sort of hidden forces here as well. All is not as it seems. Somebody is going to be getting, they, they, they could be getting an epiphany with the Ace of Swords. We may have an epiphany here or some sort of new information or there's some sort of communication that is coming. Um, Page of Cups. Page of Cups is a welcome message of love. Okay, this could be a secret admirer or it could be a crush or it could, whatever it is, it's a welcome message of love that is coming. Somebody could be flirting. Okay or they're love struck or they're just expressing their feelings so somebody's gonna be and there is an expression here because the ace of swords is communication next to that page of cups which is a message so i feel like there's going to be messages of love or flirting or something like that Queen of Cups reverse. Now the Queen of Cups reverse is emotions, emotions. I don't know if there's some sort of rejection here. Queen of Cups reverse, emotional disappointment, a lack of emotional content, emotions all over the place. So there is some sort of, and there's been some sort of indecision with the Two of Wands reverse. You may have somebody here that hasn't been practical. They haven't been grounded. They haven't, maybe there's even been some sort of unfaithfulness with the King of Coins reversed. There's been some sort of indecision. There's a Queen of Cups reversed is emotionally withdrawn. Somebody may be dealing with a person that is emotionally withdrawn. Their emotions, there's definitely a lack of groundedness here. It's like emotions all over the place. Somebody's emotions are all over the place. They're having a hard time.
time controlling their emotions and they may be dealing with somebody that where they're I don't know if there's an unrequited love situation here or what with the Queen of Cups reversed. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles about investment. Looks like we have somebody here that is very, very happy or they're going to be very, very happy with their investment. This is gathering what you got and going somewhere. I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be very, very happy with an outcome. I mean, that looks, I usually don't see this in the Seven of Pentacles, but this person looks happy. We have a happy outcome here. I feel like we have somebody here that has worked hard to obtain something and they are about to get their reward. The Empress gets a reward for her hard work, okay, for, for the suffering that she's done for the nurturing and this is about nurturing as well so somebody's about to reap some sort of benefit they are they are reap some sort of reward for the hard work that they have put in to take care of i don't know their baby or something um but there is emotions all over the place there is Somebody's going to be receiving a message that makes them happy, for sure. Seven of Cups, reverse. And the Seven of Cups, reverse, is be seeing clearly what the best choice is. Coming out of confusion. Somebody may have been confused. They may have been exploring their options. Now they see very clearly what the best choice is. Somebody is, is getting some sort of clarity. And we see that in the Ace of Swords right next to it. And above it is the moon, which is confusion. So I wonder if somebody's been confused. You know, they've been in a state of illusion. They've been, um, there's consequences here. Maybe they made a poor choice. Maybe they lost a golden opportunity with that King of Coins reversed. My nose is itching. I don't know if I'm going to kiss a fool or what. Um, just started itching just like that very odd anyhow seeing very clearly what the best choice is coming out of confusion making a choice somebody is making a choice they've gotten some sort of epiphany or they've gotten some sort of clarity somebody's about to receive a message okay they're about to receive a message that makes them happy knight of wands sorry i gotta itch my nose I don't know where it came from. Knight of Wands is all of a sudden acting, taking action right now. This is doing something brave, making a bold move. This is a warrior uh, taking a risk, okay? Uh, moving very, very fast, taking, making a fierce approach, doing something very suddenly, okay? So I feel like we have somebody here that is uh, doing something risky. This is taking a risk. Um, this is a fierce approach coming in really, 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 really fast, following the heart, taking action right now, right, 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 right now. One more card. There's a new investment here. Somebody's going to be investing in something. I feel like there's something that started a long time ago that is coming to fruition right now as well. Now it's the time. Now is time because I see the timing in the Empress and the timing in the Seven of Coins. It's like it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time for you to receive this blessing, okay? It's time for you to receive your reward. It's time. It's time. This leads to something permanent. This is permanent abundance and love okay we get the knight of cups the page of cups and the ten of pentacles and the empress does everything with love okay she nurtures things to an extent a big extent okay she's a lover she's she's the mother all is not as it seems A message is coming. I 
feel like it's it's going to be a surprise. It's gonna make you happy, whatever this message is. Ooh, I don't know. Two of Cups reverse. This may have to do with a separation, may have to do with a detachment. Maybe somebody's detaching from a partner. I don't know. Sometimes that's what happiness is, detaching from a partner that doesn't value. I mean, the Empress will own, she's the queen of value. She's a queen of all, she's all queens in one. She's the, whatever she is, she's the pick, right? Anyhow, um, the Two of Cups reverse is a separation and self-love, okay? Maybe somebody is separating from a partnership that's not compatible. Maybe that's the message. Maybe that's the message. This could definitely be self-love. I mean, the Empress, she knows her value. She knows she knows her value. She knows her worth. She will not engage in any type of lies. Underneath the Empress is the moon, which is lies. She won't. Anyhow, Two of Cups reverse is a separation. It is a detachment. It is a, it's a breakup. And this breakup may be what brings enlightenment. There is enlightenment here with that Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups reverse. Somebody's getting enlightened. You know, there may be a separation. We may have somebody here that was struggling to make a choice with these twos. One more card, that's it. Four of Coins reverse. Now, this is letting go of something that was being held on to. It is. Just letting it go, letting go of something that w felt secure, but it really, really wasn't. This is letting go of fear, opening up. Somebody was, was protecting themselves and they were holding on to something that was safe. But this is letting it go, letting it, and it's a partnership. It's right next to the Two of Cups reverse. Letting go of a partnership that wasn't stable, wasn't solid, wasn't real, wasn't abundant. Above that is the King of Coins reversed, above the Two of Cups reversed. So this was a partnership that wasn't stable, it wasn't solid, it wasn't real, it wasn't abundant. Somebody was reluctant to go down that new path because of fear, fear of the unknown. And fear of the unknown is here a couple times. Um, holding on, holding on for safety reasons. You know, it was safe, it was safe. You know, letting fear get in the way of happiness. But this is about happiness. This is, this is about going after happiness. This is a new day. It is a breakthrough. It is a life-changing energy, a life-giving energy. This, again, is the birth of a new life. It is a rebirth, and so isn't the Empress. The Empress, this is a card of growth, okay, and so isn't the Empress. Both of these cards are growth. It's about love, okay? It's about love. Um, so we have somebody here that is... Um, going after for some tender love and care by the looks of things um it all comes with a decision and being honest and upfront and telling the truth could be a relocation here with the seven of pentacles seven of pentacles is a card of relocation to me so it wasn't the ten of pentacles could be a change in living situation um, whatever is happening, there is there is a new day. We have a new day. We have a breakthrough. We have a new beginning that leads to happiness. Um, good news. Good news. Good news is arriving. It's a yes. It's a yes answer. Uh, yes. And it's beautiful. It is beautiful. With the sun card and the empress, it's beautiful. This is extreme happiness. It's like this is bliss, right? This is a bliss. This is extremely Whatever it is, it's happy. It's very, very happy. It's like, it's something that brings abundance. With that Ten of Pentacles, this is abundance. It's, it's abundant blessings, right? It is. So a welcome, welcome message is coming. We may also have Cupid here with that Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups that have brought in two people together to start a new life. Because that is a new life. The Empress gives birth to a new life. There is a new, and so isn't the sun a new life. It's beautiful. So whatever is happening, it appears to be very, very beautiful. It's going to be sudden with the Knight of Wands. This is a sudden, sudden situation. It happens suddenly. Good luck.